Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Friday, and it's normally Teacher Melissa's day, right? And I'm in the office. So next week, Teacher Melissa is and Teacher Christy are going to get back to Wednesdays and Fridays while I work in the office. So you get to see me Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and maybe on Thursdays, I can get a recording from Grandma Dorothy's room 336 at the Mount St. Vincent. Okay, so before we start, I'm, I'd like to do our In Prehistoric Time song. So stand up and uh, dance with me. And I want to see some dinosaur movements such as T-Rex, shark teeth, claws up here, triceratops, three horns. Dinosaurus waving plates. Ready, sing with me. Here we go. In prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Okay, not T Rex, the whole word. Here we go. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. With great big sharp teeth. Let me see him. <sighs> My gosh. He roamed all around the earth, searching for some dinosaur meat to eat. Let me hear you stomp. Search for meat. Show me your teeth. In prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Okay, our second dinosaur. Get your horns ready. Okay, they're pretty sharp. Here we go. Three of them. The Triceratops with horns. All three. One, two, three. He uses them for defense, but plants are all he eats. Maybe much on some plants. In prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Okay, are you ready for our third one? Okay, Stegosaurus, the Stegosaurus, with great big armored plates. Can you wave your plates back and forth? Maybe you use them to cool down from the hot sun. You think he's rather smart, but remember how big his brain is? Show me a size of a walnut. His brain's the size of a walnut. Okay, last time, dance with me. Here we go. In prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around here. In prehistoric times, the dinosaurs roamed around the earth. Very good, my friend. Alrighty, it's time for our calendar wall and our, our letter that I have for you. But first, let's stick our bums. Here we go. Ready to have a seat, find a comfortable spot in your house. Okay, put your hands up high, put your hands down low, put your hands to the side and wave them to and fro. Put them right together and around and round. Hide them under your bum so they can't be found. Super glue. Hopefully you still have enough for the end of the week. Super glue the right cheek. Super glue the left cheek. Stick, 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 stick. Clap hands in your lap. Fantastic. Alrighty, we are ready for some learning. We have some fun things we're going to do today. And teacher Christy is going to do a fun activity from her house. Wouldn't that be cool to see teacher Christy at her house today on a video? So she'll be sending that a little later today. All right, let's take a look at our letter. And today I've chosen orange pointer stick. Here we go. Read with me. Hi, boys and Girls, excited! Today is Fun Friday. Excited! We will read. Say with
with me again. Read my G book. Step sign. So you will need your G books today, my friends. We will read the field mouse and the dinosaur named Sue. Stop sign! And at the bottom, love your teachers. Okay, my friends, let's take a look at the calendar. The month is March. You've got it. You ready to clap? You clap, all point. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. What comes after nineteen? Hmm. I think many of you know. Twenty. Good. Now, remember, our pattern is green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, green, yellow, yellow. So if St. Patrick's Day was green, yellow, yellow, what will today be? Hmm, think about it. Think, 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 think. Green or yellow? You said green, you got it. Green for today, green shamrock, 20 is the day, the 20th. All right, the whole date, March 20th. Don't forget the 2020. Okay, you ready for weather? I cannot believe our weather, it's so exciting. When I walked to school again, I saw a sun. So, I'm very excited about that. And then on my weather watch, okay, here we go. Can you see that? 41 degrees with lots of little sunshine. So, help me count. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and one above 40 is 41. Okay, now I have to ask the silly question, is it cold enough to snow? No, right? What temperature do we need for snow? 32 and below, okay. And clouds, right friends? Um, okay, let's look at our graph and I get to choose just sunny today. So windy is continuing to win. Alrighty, my friends. Our next thing we're going to do is to look up above the calendar and we're going to pick what day today is. And we all know what day today is. We know it's Friday, right? Fun Friday. Now, tomorrow. Tomorrow we don't have online school. So tomorrow is normally uh, the, the weekend, we call it. They both start with S's, three syllables. Give you a chance to think. Mm, are you thinking Saturday? Let's clap it. Saturday. You've got it. Three syllables. And then yesterday was the day that Grandma Dorothy usually comes, and a day we have French. In French, it's Judy, and it is Thursday. Thursday was yesterday. Okay. Are you ready to count by tens? Get your tens ready. First we'll start with zero, and then we'll go 10 plus 10. Okay, here we go. Let me find my zero. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Oh my goodness, where do we start here? Okay, let's see. I, I just found 10. Okay, so we have zero, right, on this end. Plus 10 is 10, right? Plus another 10, you say it. You got it, 20 plus 10, 30, good. 40, 50, you keep showing me your 10s. 60, 
70. And yesterday, 80 went hiding. 80. 90. 100. And 100 plus 10 is 110. Okay, here we go. 110. 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116. Oh boy, this is a big number, my friends. 117 days of school. So we're not gonna count Saturday and we're not gonna count Sunday, but when Monday happens, we'll count what comes after 117. Thing is the question box. How many syllables are there in the word dinosaur? Hmm. Clap it. Dinosaur. Okay. Let's see. See how many of you know how many syllables. All right, if you said three, you've got it. Way to go. Got your brain. Good job, guys. So we are going to have our next video be all about our G books, and I'm going to read a story about the field mouse. So before I say goodbye with this video, I would like you to say check if you did your work this week that I sent in the mail. And next week I'm going to have another packet. And I want you to make sure you get that work done because we've got to fill our brain with, with knowledge of our letters and our math as we get ready for what comes after sunbeams? Kindergarten. Not that far away. So, thank you for getting your work done. I want you to say check if you did it. Alrighty, the first thing. The G page. Practicing making your G. Check. Another G page. Check. How about writing your G and coloring the grasshopper? Check. How about cutting out the dinosaur letters and putting them in order? Check. How about cutting your G pictures and making them into a book? Check. How about your math page patterning dinosaurs, counting dinosaurs, and Tyrannosaurus rex, dot, dot, dot. Check. How about, did you have a chance to do the quilt dinosaur? That was extra work. And Lastly, we'll do this one together, my G book. Check! And I put in some other activities, my friends, that you can do for dinosaur, the theory of why they disappeared, and, um, and maybe make a, a big poster about a dinosaur that you love, and those are all extra things that you can do if you want to. So I'll see you at the next video with our G books. I want you to have your G books ready. We're going to read together and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, bye boys and girls.